Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn the biggest hit from one of my favorite bands, Depeche Mode, and their uh, hit, Enjoy the Silence. So this is obviously has a cool guitar line in it, a couple of them, but the song itself is built off of uh, keyboards. So what I've done is just arrange those keyboard chords for guitar. It requires a lot of bar chords because I'm going to play this in the original key without a capo. So um, Hopefully you guys can play bar chords. They're simple major and minor bar chords, nothing really uh, to worry about here. Um, but it allows us not to have to retune or use capos and all that junk. All right, so let's start here with this. Um, now th there's a couple, there's a remastered version that came out, you know, um, more recently, like a couple, 10 years ago, or whatever. But the original like video they had, it started with just basically the first half of the chorus repeated twice. And then it went into that guitar lick thing. So um, I'm not going to show you, I mean, that part, we're going to get to that when we get to the chorus. If you want to add that or you want to play the version that's on the more recent remastered album, um, you can do that as well. But so we're not really skipping that part. It's just half the first half of the chorus is all it is. So let's start with the actual riff itself uh, at the beginning of the song. Now that riff is built over two chords, uh, a C minor chord. So that's a full, it's just a bar, it's the third fret there, fourth fret on the B, fifth on the G, and the D. And then move up to the sixth fret, and you're gonna do a bar, just so it makes it an E flat major chord. So sixth fret there on the A, and then eighth fret across the D, G, and the B. So it's gonna rotate between those two chords. Now that goes on underneath this. Then we get to the, the verse. So let's start with this riff. So we're up here at the 11th fret here on the low E string with your middle finger. And then you play 10 on the D string, then back to the 11th fret on the low E, and then up to the 12th on the D. Try to make these notes ring out as much as possible so, it, so you can still hear both notes together. Then you keep going back to the 11th fret there on the low E string. Back to the 10 on the D, back to that 11, and now go to the 13 on the A. So this, this is, and in between each one, you're hitting that 11. So do that again. So after done, after you've done that twice, then we have this. So that's sliding into the 8th fret of the low E string, and then playing 6th on the D. Then you play 6th on the low E to 5 on the D. All right. From there, slight slide into the 6th fret of the A string, and play the 5th fret of the G with that one. And then you're gonna play 5 on the A, and eight on the D. Play those together. Repeat that. But here, the second time of repeating that half, instead of doing this, you just come back and grab. You really, I think he grabs just the the sixth fret on the uh, low E string, hits that twice, and then the echo you hear in the guitar track, you're hearing that E flat with it, but you can play those two notes together as well. So we have this, that ends the whole riff. So the whole riff again, nice and slow. All right, now we have the verse. Now, since this is really a keyboard track, it has kind of like a, a little um, drum loop going on underneath it too, uh, that is a little bit more upbeat, kind of dancey. You can choose to kind of recreate that or just play the chords 
But here the chords for the verse is just uh, built around three, three different chords. C minor that we looked at earlier. Now it goes back up to the E flat, but this time instead of playing a, a major, it's a minor. So during the verse, that E flat is a minor chord, not a major. So we have C minor, E flat minor, and then take it down to an A flat major chord. Full bar at the fourth fret, fifth fret on the G, sixth on the D, and the A. And then you play that again. So this chord is played twice as long. So you could just strum that like that for the verse, maybe. Or play some rhythm. Then we get to the chorus, which sounds like this. All right, so I'm giving it that same rhythm there. So that starts with an F minor chord. So we're Full bar at the first fret, third fret on the A and the D. Then it goes back to that A flat major we did earlier, and then back to that C minor. Now here what we're going to do is go back to this E flat major chord, but we're going to, that we did you know, in the intro of the song, underneath that main guitar riff. But we're going to let our first finger go across the sixth fret of the low E string as well. So we have that D flat in the bass. So it's an E flat major chord with B flat in the bass. So we have this F minor, E flat major, C minor, then E flat with B flat in the bass. Start those same chords over again F minor, A flat. The C minor, this time resolve that C minor down to B major. You play like that, you play like that, whatever. So that's just B major, second fret on the A string, bar across the fourth fret of the D, G, and the B. So that's the full chorus. The first ending has that E flat with B flat in the bass, and the second ending, it's a B chord. All right, so once again, it might be cool just to play the verse kind of subdued. Just strumming the chords, each one. And then when you get to the chorus, pick up the tempo, or pick up the rhythm. I mentioned earlier that on the video version of this song, there's a chord progression on the keys played. Um, what they're doing there is the first four chords of that chorus, which is the F minor, the A flat, to the C minor, and then the E flat with B flat in the bass. Then you repeat those exact same four chords. And then we're the riff there. All right, now we have one more thing to learn. Uh, the guitar riff is extended later on in the song. It sounds like this. So simple, but extremely effective, obviously. So um, let's look at this. It's pretty similar to what we did in the intro or the main riff of the song. We keep going back to the 11th fret on the low E string, right? But the melody note on top now was 10 on the D, 12 on the D, then 13 on the D, to 13 on the A. Let's go this. Keep going back to that 11 on the low E string. And then from there, it's going to be the 13 played again on the A string to 10 on the A. Repeat that. So all together.
is repeated. All right, so it's obviously a, you know a great song. It's got a really cool guitar riff in it as well. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed learning this uh, kind of synth song on the guitar. And I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.